Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Should there be a longer hurricane season? And you can see right here, these are the name systems outside of the hurricane season since 1851. There's been a few, uh, quite a few actually over the years, but let me show you why they may not necessarily change the season itself. Now, the most recent system outside of the hurricane season was this back in January, uh, earlier in 2023, this spin right here, they actually didn't go back and name it, but it was a subtropical storm. They didn't classify it at the time. This here did impact impact uh, coastal sections, the Atlantic region of uh, Canada. Some of the gusts were upwards of 110 kilometers an hour, 60, 70 miles per hour as this rolled in again in January. It was not a classified system at the time. They went back and looked and said, hey, yeah, that should have been a named system. So with that said, now the length of the season, well, this started decades and decades ago. It was originally June 15 to October 31st. It was actually shorter, then eventually was extended to include Nova out to November 15th. Now, this was prior to 1965. In about 1964, 1965, it was more officially June 1st to November 30th. That's what we have right now. And why is that the case? Well, the satellite era came into being, plus there were those recon missions where we could get out there. We could see more out there and we could send planes out there. So uh, 1965, it's been June 1st to November 30th. That's been the hurricane season. It's been a lot of chatter of uh, either starting it earlier or uh, having it go a little bit later. Well, in May, let's break down those two months. The month right before the start of hurricane season, that's May. There's been 50 named storms. This is on record. Uh, so that's prior to the hurricane season starting. In December, there's been 17 named storms. So with that said, if they were going to lean one way or another, it might be an earlier start just because there's been more action earlier in the season. So 50 named storms. Now just looking out in time, this is kind of a crazy graph to show you, but these are all the named storms, named storms, hurricanes, major hurricanes over the years on record since about 1850 out in time. And you could see it going up but with that said, uh, it's natural that we have a few more named storms out there uh, due to the fact that we hit the satellite era and we could simply see more and things could be classified more. So it's not necessarily a ton more named systems out there as a whole. But here's the deal. Most of the action is still, of course, in, into the heart of the hurricane season. This is a look in May. Every now and then you get a named system or two. I just showed you that. 50 named systems on record. Then we hit the season June 1st and you see right there things flare up. Then more so peak of the hurricane season about September 10th, September 11th, then it drops off end of the season in November. And occasionally you get one or two as we work our way back toward December. And then we had that rare one in January of this year. So uh, now it doesn't look like they're going to either uh, have it start earlier or later at this point. And that's because again, almost all of the action really is in the heart of the season. Just August, September, and October alone, 84% of all named systems happen in those three months. And break it down even further, you look at the hurricane season as a whole, 97 to 98% of all hurricanes and tropical storms, all named systems happen within the hurricane season, June all the way through the end of November. So they've kind of hit the bullseye. There's obviously a couple that happened before, a couple that happened after, but so far again, most of the action simply happens during the hurricane season. So I do not see them uh, extending it or starting it earlier uh, at this point, but I'll keep you posted if I hear any chatter out there. Now, getting a look at what we've got going on, uh, we've had a flare up of rain, Grenada, Barbados, Grenada, we've had some flooding around. I've been watching that. We have this system up here that's still impacting parts of the Atlantic region of Canada, and there's the tail end of it. That's why we've had some of the rain. Haiti, Dominican Republic, near Puerto Rico, but it's been a little flare-up over toward Grenada that I've been watching. More action in the western uh, end of the uh, U.S. You can see here uh, we're going to start to see some new systems, new fronts that will move in, and we'll see how they work across the U.S., Central America, and eventually into the Caribbean. Short term, there's that flare-up of rain this afternoon. Still in Anywhere near Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. We've had some spotty showers, Trinidad and Tobago. More so Tobago. That's where we've had a little more of the rain. Then as we go throughout the uh, rest of the week, as we work our way into tomorrow, a little flare-up of rain near Belize, watching over toward Honduras, Roatan, uh, Providencia. May get a few of the uh, showers, Cayman Islands. A few spotty showers, but still some of the leftovers from that front. Haiti and the DR, we could see a couple showers for tomorrow. Thursday, still watching out for a spotty shower, Eastern Caribbean, but a little bit more so by uh, Central 
Central America, Jamaica, we could get some spotty showers as we work our way into later this week. Here's the big picture showing the U.S. very quiet, much of Mexico very quiet at this uh, time. See anywhere from uh, the Florida Keys up into Maine, things are looking better than yesterday with that front that has moved off, of course. It is on the cold side, but watching this spin out here, we've got one spin out here. This is the next system that's going to start to roll in. And again, watching this front and a few more spins out there, the seas are very choppy. Breaking out into later this week as we work our way into later on Thursday. Watching a system coming here. This one here is going to draw in a little more moisture into the Gulf and parts of the Caribbean down the road. And we'll keep an eye on a system that will develop kind of right behind it as we get closer to Christmas. So I'll keep you posted on that. But additional rain, look at St. Vincent the Grenadines over toward Grenada. We're gonna get a few spots that get an additional 75 millimeters of rain or three inches of rain over the next couple of days. Same thing as we get over toward Haiti and the Dominican Republic. North side, we could get a few spots around 100 millimeters of rain, if not more. That's four to about five inches of rain will be possible. So rain change is elevated, not all day stuff. We've already had that really pan out in Barbados over the last few days. We've had that uh, uh, rain chance around. St. Lucia, a 40% chance. We get back toward Trinidad and Tobago, again, favoring our northern zones for that higher chance of rain. This has already panned out for the rest of today. We're still looking at a 50% chance in Grenada, monitoring that flooding. 50% chance St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Keep me posted in the comments. Rain chance about 30% in Martinique. Rain chance not too high in Dominica, only a 10 to 20% chance a 10 to 20% chance as we get over toward Guadalupe. Rain chance minimal, Antigua and Barbuda. It'd be a passing shower, 10% chance, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. 10 to 20% chance, Anguilla and St. Bart's. And holding on to a 10% chance, St. Martin, Saba, Stasia. Could get a passing shower. A couple more possible as we work our way into tomorrow and into Thursday in Haiti and, uh, rather, excuse me, into Puerto Rico. And as we get over toward the U.S. of Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands, about a 20% chance the next uh, three days. Dominican Republic, that higher chance today, still a few around tomorrow. And in Haiti, there's that 50% chance for what's left of today. Rain chance, Turks and Caicos, 30% chance today, 20% chance tomorrow. Same thing in Jamaica. We'll watch out for some spotty showers, though, by the uh, end of the week. Cayman Islands, 20% chance the next couple days, 10% chance across the Bahamas, that front move by. It is cool. So many of us have much cooler weather at this point. Not all of us, but a lot of us do. Cuba included, rain chance minimal, up to that 40 to 50% chance starting tomorrow in Belize. It's going to pick up again. Same thing over toward the Yucatan. Rain chance goes up some, about a 20 percent chance in Aruba tomorrow, a 20 percent chance in Curacao Bonaire, looking at about a 10 to 20 percent chance, 50 percent chance for what's left of today in Bermuda with the leftovers of the front, Costa Rica, a 40 percent chance, and a 30 to 40 percent chance the next few days in Guyana, about a 40 percent chance in Suriname, and a 30 percent chance across northern Venezuela, even northern Colombia. So we're tracking these off-season systems. They do happen, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, not seeing any changes to the hurricane season though overall cooler air has moved in watching the spotty showers and the widespread showers the widespread rain we've had in parts of uh, Grenada more cold fronts on the way I showed you those systems across the U.S. that could kind of build our way as we get closer to Christmas I'll keep you up to date on that I hope you have a great rest of your day